Hello friends, today we will discuss about blood composition and functions of blood components. As per RS4 model, competencies are Describe the composition and functions of blood components List the components of the blood, cellular and non-cellular and describe the functions of those components State the normal packed cell volume that is hematocrit and describe its use in clinical medicine. Looking for components of the blood from our basics, we know that blood contains cells. These are erythrocytes or RBCs, 4.5 to 5.5 million cells per cubic millimeter. Leukocytes or WBCs, 4000 to 11000 cells per cubic millimeter. Platelets, 1.5 to 4 lakh cells per cubic millimeter. Try to concentrate on these values. These will definitely help you in your viva. Non-cellular component is plasma. 91% of it is water, rest 9% contains solids. Again solids are of two types, inorganic and organic. In inorganic, sodium, calcium, chloride, bicarbonate are mainly extracellular, potassium, magnesium, copper, phosphate are mainly intracellular. We can see iron also. Organic solids are plasma proteins, amino acids, carbohydrates, fats, enzymes, antibodies and non-protein nitrogenous substances such as ammonia, creatine, creatinine, etc. Looking to the hematocrit also known as packed cell volume which states that fraction of volume of cells in the blood. When we centrifuge the blood, RBCs are settled at the bottom. Above that, a small buffy coat layer is observed. It contains WBCs and platelets. It's only 1% of the total blood volume. Watery substance filling the upper half of the tube is plasma, which is about 55% of the blood volume. And normal hematocrit value that is nothing but the packed cell volume is 45%. Clinical use in medicine. Hematocrit value is decreased in anemia due to reduced RBCs, increased in polycythemia due to increased blood cells. I mentioned about some of the basic functions here. Nutritive, transport, excretory, water and electrolyte balance, regulation of body temperature and defensive function. Blood is mainly meant for nourishing the organs as well as the organism. It contains amino acids, minerals, vitamins, transport molecules, glucose and much more. Transport function Blood contains transport proteins that transports molecules. For example, transthyretin transports thyroid hormone as well as the vitamin A. Seroloplasmin, it's nothing but the copper ion transporter. It's related to Wilson's disease. If you know anything about that, please drop down a comment below. Albumin also acts as a transporter. Gases are transported both as dissolved form along with the hemoglobin. Excretory functions. Blood excretes waste products such as urea. If anything in excess in the body will be excreted in the urine and excretion of carbon dioxide through the lungs. Blood contains electrolytes. Maintaining these electrolytes are very important in body. Because I will give you an example here. Excess of calcium can cause cardiac arrest during systole. Electrolytes in the blood are regulated mainly through the kidneys by excreting and reabsorbing the requisite amount of electrolytes. Temperature regulation mainly happens through the peripheral vasoconstriction and vasodilation mechanism. Vasoconstriction reduces the blood supply to the surface of the body, in turn reduces the heat loss. Vasodilation increases the blood flow to the surface of the body and heat is dissipated from the body. Blood provides the immunity. We have separate chapter for it and we will discuss it there.